All right, how many of you came in from out of town? Almost everybody. How many of you came in from out of the country? Welcome, we're honored to have you. And how many of you came here from down the street, meaning that you live in the Bitcoin capital of the world, Austin, Texas? One person. Okay, this is like the Bitcoin capital table over here, I think. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So, welcome to Bitcoin Plus Plus. I'm D Plus Plus, and I'm going to be walking you through the very first workshop of the day. Now, does everybody have their conference bags? Okay. In your conference bag, you should have not one, but two Bitcoin bingo cards. That's right. We're going to be debuting not one, but two brand new D++ exclusive games. I'm D++, by the way. Bitcoin bingo. Now, I know it's early, but... We're gonna be having a lot of fun at 10 in the morning, which to me is about the earliest I've been up in years. <laughs> All right, you guys find your bingo cards? I also very lovingly placed a pen in your bag for your convenience. Okay, so the objective of this workshop this morning is to learn about Bitcoin and Lightning, but the main goal is to make new friends. You all came in, most of you from out of town, meaning you can watch these videos on YouTube from the comfort of your own home. So why do we make the trek to come all the way to a conference? Well, it's because of the people, because of the friends that we make along the way. So your objective this morning is to break the ice and make some new friends. If you're feeling intimidated by some of the cool people that you've seen on Twitter and you've been looking for an excuse to introduce yourself to them, well, this is your opportunity. We are going to start with Bitcoin Bingo. The icebreaker game. Everybody have their bingo cards? Yeah. Now, I know it's a little early for bingo, but grab your coffee, grab your bingo card, and grab your pen. And let's go ahead and break the ice. Everybody ready? Yes, all right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, Bitcoin bingo, all right. So we've all played bingo before, right? The objective is to stamp off as many squares as possible. And can anybody tell me what the version of the game is where you try to get not just five in a row, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, but all of the stamps on the card. Blackout. Blackout, okay, so we're not just playing bingo, we're gonna play blackout. All right, now that said, once you stamp as many of these squares as possible, you can redeem your Bitcoin bingo card for a prize from the Bitcoin Bazaar. Now out here in the hallway at the Base 58 booth, we have all kinds of swag for you today. Everything from lightning keychains to lightning necklaces to pant chains to neon lightning signs. Now with a completed bingo card, you can get a discount of 99.99% and pay only one Satoshi per item. Now you are required to pay, that is your proof of work. And for those of you that are new to lightning, well, that's gonna be your very first lightning payment. Now, how many of you have never used Lightning before? Two people? Don't be, don't be shy, there's no shame. We're so early in Bitcoin, we're so freaking early. Now, how many of you are Lightning node operators? Okay, how many of you currently have a node? How many of you have run a node in the past, but you know, your Raspberry Pi blew up? And you don't currently have one online. On Signet, okay, sure, that counts. <laughs> <laughs> um, and how many of you have never run a lightning node before? I'm gonna say like 20%, okay. If you've never run a lightning node before, have no fear because after Bitcoin Bingo, we're gonna play a second game called Lightning LARP. Now, in the meantime, 
let's get ready to play some bingo. So the objective is to make new friends, okay? You're gonna leave this bingo game with at least a dozen new friends. Now, the objective is to find a Bitcoiner in the room, and that can be in this conference room or in the hallway or any of the rooms here at Bitcoin Plus Plus, who fits the bill of each one of these squares. So let's do an example together. Find a Bitcoiner in the room who is in Plebnet. How many of you are in Plebnet? Okay, fewer than I had expected, but okay, okay. So the way this is gonna work is you're gonna find someone in the room who's in Plebnet, verify that, you're in, that they are in Plebnet, and then mark off this square. Now, given that the objective of this game is to make new friends, don't just mark your card and then run off to the next person. Actually say hello, introduce yourself, and maybe spark up a little bit of a conversation about the glory, say, of Bitcoin, right? Okay, as, after you get as many stamps as possible, you're gonna come back into the room and we're gonna move on to the next challenge of the morning. Now that said, please do not stay parked at your table, okay? And please do not mark off these squares from big corners who you already know. They have to be new friends that you, well, you can't just talk to your friends. You've gotta actually do the proof of work of walking around and making new Bitcoin friends, okay? I like you. That's a good okay, so Tidbull has co-signed off. He likes the game, so I think we're good. Does anybody else have any questions or comments? Okay, so we have about an hour and a half before the conference kicks off with the first workshop. So we're gonna take some time to break the ice with Bitcoin bingo and come back for the lightning LARP. So I would expect to spend about 15, 20 minutes on Bitcoin Bingo. Make sure you come back here to start the next challenge, which is the Lightning Lark game. Ooh, any more? Any more questions? It's easy, right? It's a bingo game. So, so if you're if you're really popular, everyone with your friends. I know it's tough being new to. Well, it's tough. I know you're popular. Oh, for me, there's so many people here that I don't know. So, all right, let's get going. And again, you're going to be up, moving around, talking to folks who you have never met before. Any more questions? <laughs>to the second challenge and again I know how much you love Bitcoin bingo so there is no re there is no reason that we have to stop playing this game you can continue playing Bitcoin bingo after I tell you just a little bit about the lightning LARP now if you got here late we have a whole merch store okay we have a merch store at the base 58 booth called the Bitcoin Bazaar meaning once you get bingo you're going to take your card over to the booth and redeem it for a one sat prize. We've got neon signs, we've got lightning necklaces, we've got earrings, necklaces, keychains, pant chains, beanies, socks, hair clips, really good stuff. Did anybody redeem their card yet for a prize? You're too busy making friends, I get it. All right, now uh, the lightning LARP is also going to get you a prize at the Bitcoin Bazaar, meaning if you fill out both cards, you'll get not one, but two Bitcoin prizes. Now that said, you do need to pay one Satoshi per prize. That is your proof of work to show me that you got a lightning payment routed successfully through the main net lightning network. You can send your payment to my Ellen URL, and if you don't know what Ellen URL is, that is absolutely okay. I created a payment page just for you at d plus dot plus slash bazaar. Now that said, we talked a little bit earlier about how many of you are lightning node runners. The objective of the lightning LARP game is to get a lightning node running on your phone. <laughs> Okay, so there's more opportunities for friendship. There's more opportunities for friendship in that you are going to create a lightning node 
and you're going to open channels to new friends. Now, Bitcoin may be for enemies, but Lightning, is that R2D2 uh, over there? We should unplug it if you just raise your voice. <laughs> X-Frog to the rescue. We've got some, some droids are hiding uh, over here. All right. Now, Bitcoin may be for enemies, but Lightning is for friends. And the way you solidify and formalize your friendship in Lightning is how? You open a channel to your new friends, okay? Now, how many of you were around for the early days of PlebNet? Okay. Now, who remembers the early PlebNet graph, the friendship graph? It was the most fun you could possibly have sober. You were just dying to see your you were just dying to see yourself on this graph connected to your new friends. And it was a high like nothing else. Now that said, PlebNet has gone viral and ballooned into thousands of people, meaning that friendship graph is too large to really look at on one page. This is PlebNet now. The early days of PlebNet looked like this. Who was actually on this graph? XFrog was early, okay. Chris was early. I love it. So I've been, I've been chasing this high for two years. I want to relive this experience of the rush of creating a friendship graph. So I have actually spent weeks in preparation of today to create a friendship graph for the Bitcoin Plus Plus community. Meaning, we are going to create lightning nodes, open channels to new friends, and visualize those channels on the Bitcoin Plus Plus friendship graph. Now, right now, the graph looks like this. There's only three nodes. There's D plus plus, that's pink. There's C equals, that's blue. And there's Nifty, she's purple. There's only three nodes on the graph, all right? So the objective is to create a node and add it to our friendship graph, open channels to each other, and see your new friends on the graph at D++ slash graph. Now that said, if you don't have a lightning node, an easy way to quickly get started is to spin one up in the cloud. Now who's familiar with Voltage? Voltage makes it very convenient to instantly get going with a Lightning node. Now, alternately, you can download and sync the entire Bitcoin blockchain, but that's going to probably not be something you can do in an afternoon. On Voltage, you can start a free seven-day trial, and you don't even have to put down a credit card, and you don't have to give them your identity, meaning you can get going right here, right now. Now, not only will you get a node and new friends, you'll be able to use this node for all of the workshops and activities throughout the rest of the conference. Sure. Now that said, once you complete your Lightning LARP card, and again, we're going to aim for blackout, you can present this card to the Bitcoin Bazaar to get your prize. You are going to pay one Satoshi per prize, and the twist is that those payments are going to be routed through the new friendship graph that we're all building today. Now, I have created an FAQ page for you at d plus dot plus slash help. But that said, given that we are fostering a peer-to-peer -peer learning environment, one of the tasks on your card is to help a pleb in need, meaning you are going to either give or receive help from somebody who has questions. Now that said, we have a couple of volunteers from Pleb Lab. If you can raise your hand, I see Austin over there. Austin is very familiar with Lightning and Voltage. And if you have any questions about setting up a node, he can help you. Topher is also hiding. He didn't raise his hand, but I'm gonna call him out because he's another fantastic resource to tap into should you get stuck. Okay. So this is what the friendship graph page looks like. You are going to paste your lightning node pub key, which is an identifier, a unique identifier,
for your lightning node into this interface. And I can do a quick demonstration. Does someone have a node that they would like me to add to the graph? Zebedee? Okay. All right. Well, look, someone has already managed to pop up on the graph. We have our, we have our first participant. Who's Rackies? They're, they're anonymous, that's okay. But we've got, <laughs> we've got our, first, uh, our first contender. Now you can right click on these nodes and it will take you over to their emboss. Okay. Uh, uh, Paul, what is your uh, alias or preferably alias? I don't want to type out your whole pub key. All right, so we're going to add Paul to the friendship graph. He currently has one channel, two voltage. He needs some new friends, right? He needs some friends to open channels to, so find Paul and, and get him some liquidity. And we're going to add him to the friendship graph at d plus dot plus slash lark. Now you'll see here I have the option to add the node pub key. There's also a customize button that is optional should you want to change your node and alias for the purposes of this game only. If you would like to add a special alias or color for your node that you maybe don't want to share with the entire lightning graph, you can add it here along with a signature. But Paul already has a pretty cool alias, so we're gonna leave it as is and submit him to the graph. And then here in a moment, once we update it at D++ slash graph. Oh, look at you guys. We've got all kinds of new friends. We've got Bitcoin Pleb Dev. That must be Austin from uh, Pleb Lab. We've got WEF Official. And very soon, I want to see edges on this graph, meaning I want to see payment channels. Okay, I want to see more friends that have filled out their cards and solidified their friendship on the blockchain. Now that said, the current mempool fee rate is at about four sats per V byte with no priority. And it looks like the inscribers have once again clogged up the mempool, meaning if you want to actually get your channels open in any amount of time in the next, say, 30 minutes, you're going to be paying 25 sats per V byte. But hey, that's a small price to pay for friendship. <laughs> All right, so how many people are thoroughly confused and have no idea what I'm talking about with regard to node IDs, pub keys, payment channels, graphs, edges? One person? Just one? Two people? Three people? Okay. So the cool thing is, you do not have to understand everything right now. We have this super friendly peer-to-peer -peer learning environment with all these folks who want to make friends, who want to help. Now, how many of you are veterans of node running? Okay, so these veterans with their hands raised would be fantastic resources to ask for help from. Any questions about Lightning LARP, the friendship graph, or anything else before we get started. Yeah, question. There's, is there are people who are new to the water press stuff, but you know, don't want to use real money? I have a bunch of testers on, but I can put those around and we can try that. Sure, so Testnet is a fantastic resource if you don't want to be hashtag reckless with mainnet real funds. Now that said, if you do spin up a node on Testnet, you will not show up on the friendship graph, and you will not be able to route payments to the Bitcoin Bazaar. Now, that said, 
It is entirely optional should you choose to run testnet. That is just fine and you can still mark off the spaces on your Bitcoin bingo card. How many testnet coins do you have? <laughs> we have a testnet faucet over here. Any other questions, comments, suggestions? Yeah. Okay, so you already have a channel with the holy cheese grater, but it's not showing up. Okay, so did you open the channel just now? That channel was like six months old. Oh, it's six months old. Okay, and what was your node? Uh, sorry, what was the alias one more time? Node runner. Am I not, I'm just not seeing it here. I'm not seeing you on the graph. Yeah, maybe try adding yourself one more time. Now I did see a couple of folks who do not have aliases and when I right click on them, I'm not able to see them on Amboss Space. So my presumption is that these folks do not have any public channels. So if you have a lightning node, but you don't have any public channels, then guess what? You are not going to be visible to a lightning network explorer. And that's okay. You can still join the graph. Any more questions? Yeah, over here. Okay, great question. Right, so in Voltage, you're going to click the Network tab, and from there, you can select your pub key. Now, your pub key is a long string with a 32-byte random number in hexadecimal. Now, when you add yourself to the graph, you only need to paste your pub key. You don't need the complete socket with your IP and port. However, if you do paste it in, I'm pretty sure my code will conveniently truncate it for you. It shows up now. It shows up now. Okay, so we have a channel to Nifty. Let's check out the channel to Nifty. There's Node Runner, and he's got a channel to Nifty. So we have two groups of friends now. Now what I want to see is everybody connected. I don't want to see any of these islands just floating out here in no man's land. Friendship graph is looking pretty good. Any more questions? Now that said, I do recommend like Bitcoin Bingo, when you open channels to folks, send and receive payments to folks, that you get up walk around and make some new friends. Now those friends can be people who you met during the Bitcoin bingo game, but don't just open channels to the person sitting next to you who you already know. Go make some new friends. Any more questions? Back here. What is your public Okay, so I have a D++ node. It is a pink node over here in the corner. When I right click on it, it will take you to Amboss. And when you're on Amboss, there's a very convenient little copy button here. Whoa. Looks like two pieces of paper. And when you click it, it will give you my pub key that you can then paste into your lightning node to open a channel to me. Now, my channel minimum used to be 3 million sats last night. But if you don't have 3 million sats to stake into a channel with me, that's okay because guess what? I have removed all restrictions, meaning you can open a channel as small as I believe 20k sats, which I believe is the default for LND. Does anybody know, any of the Lightning veterans, does anybody know if you can actually open a channel for less than 20K? Okay, according to Nifty, it depends. I've never seen one for less than 20K, but uh, you can go ahead and open a very small channel to me and it will show up on the graph. 
Um, any more questions? Who's ready to get started? Okay, we're good. We had a really good question over here. Do you have to sign a message to join the Friendship Graph? And the answer is no. You do not have to sign a message. You can simply just input your pub key now. If you want to create a custom alias or color for the purposes of this graph only, yes, you do need to sign a message. Okay, great question. So if you're using Voltage, I highly recommend that you manage your node through the Thunder Hub user interface. So I would click on the Thunder Hub dashboard, and from there you'll be able to do things like, hey, say, grab a receive address to fund your node, open new channels to new friends, send and receive payments, and if you have any questions, you can head over to D plus dot plus slash help. And this page will answer some questions such as, how do I open channels? Cool. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Welcome to Bitcoin Plus Plus. Yeah. Yeah. See. Uh, this is our second year doing it in Austin, third conference, but second one in Austin, and we've grown like 30%, I think, from last time. We've got a much bigger space. We've got a lot more friends and people here. So again, thanks for showing up. Really excited that you're all able to make it. Um, so that's super cool. 